Oh, hello there. How are you? Oh, you're that good. <laughs> so am I. And do you know what this week is? It's the 24th week of quarantine and lockdown. Can you imagine that? When all this began, they said, oh, it will be all over in 12 weeks. So you just do 12 weeks and everything will be fine. That was 12 weeks ago. Now I'm 24 weeks. Hmm. In two more weeks, it will be a full six months. Can you imagine? Hmm. But I am still planning an escape. But I want to make this escape something a little bit different. Now, it occurred to me that I haven't done any night flying for quite some time. So perhaps a night escape will do the trick. And where to go from and where to go to? Well, I did like that airport scenery in Slovenia, Ljubljana. Surrounded by mountains, it was a lovely airport. But where to start from? Well, the last time I went there, I went there from Zurich. And I was struck by all the beauty of the mountains that we crossed. So I thought I'd do this one from Innsbruck. Innsbruck is in the middle of a valley. And of course the departure from runway 08 means that you've got to go all the way up the valley to gain altitude before you can leave the area to get onto your route. So it does present some interesting problems. So that's what I'm going to do. So would you like to join me? Shall I show you how I'm going to put all that together? Oh, you would. Jolly good. Come and have a look. Well, here we are. This is Ljubljana. And as you can see from the wind, the wind direction, it looks like it's coming straight down the runway. So the obvious runway that will be in use will be runway 30. And here's the actual airport itself. And here, so this will be the actual approach and landing. Now down here, this is what I wanted to have a look at. Sunset is at 19.42 local time there or 17.42 Zulu time. I'm going to need to arrive here after 20 hundred hours. I'll need to arrive probably around 2030 or 2045. That should be the best arrival time and then that way it will be in the dark. For my departure point, runway 8, see here's the, looks like it's going to be runway 8. And that means taking off in that direction and going down the valleys. And sunset is pretty much the same. So I'm going to need to take off at 19.45 and arrive at about 20.45 because it's about a one hour journey. Okay, let's plan something then, shall we? In Simbrief, if we go into the view more routes, there was a Eurocenter flight plan that had been filed and it shows RTT 3J departure and the Daegu 2L approach. So we're going to have to do that. 
Here we go, departure runway 8 and 30 is already in. So let's see how that works. This is our basic route between the two points. And going in here, we're going to be departing on runway 8. And the departure is going to be the RTT 3J. And there it is. Notice this. It goes all the way up the valley and then it does this little googly here before you get onto the route. And on the approaches, we'll be coming in on runway 30 and final. And the arrivals are going to be, there it is, the Degu 2L. Now all we need to do is we need to fill in these points in between. So to do that we're going to switch to high on route. Our first point is going to be Birgi and we'll add that to the route after RTT add. And get so add to the route after Bergy, Detsa, add, after get so, Malug, after get so, and then Vikim after Malag. There we go. And there's our route. In here, simply copy and we go to Simbrief, paste and make the adjustment there, analyze the route, it's valid, and there it is, all set to go. All we have to do now is save that, and away we go. So, there's our route, and if you're ready, let's go crank up the 737 and have a flight. Remember, this is going to be a night flight, so let's see how we do, shall we? Well, here we are at Innsbruck, L-O-W-I. We are at stand number six, and it's about an hour before sunset, so we should have a dusk departure and see some interesting scenery as we cross over the mountains going to on our route to Ljubljana. So if you're ready and I'm ready let's get ourselves started shall we. And we're starting from cold and dark so the first thing we do is turn on the battery power. We have 28 volts so now we Turn on the fuel pump and start the APU. By now you should know this, but we're going to be watching for the engine gas temperature in the auxiliary power unit, which is located in the tail of this 737. And it will climb up and then it will descend. And when it does, then it will be generating 115 volts and we will switch the bus to 115 volts so that we can get a cup of tea brewing in the galley. How about that? It's all important stuff, you know. Now it's starting to settle down a little bit. 
and in a moment this blue light will come on to tell us that there is power available from the APU. There we go. Switch to that. Now we have 115 volts up here. So turn on the galley, emergency exit lights, no smoking, fasten seat belts. Over here we're going to turn on the left and the right window heat, turn on the probes, turn on the electrical hydraulic pumps and over here turn on the bleed so that we can now get some heat or air conditioning. Well it's a bit cold today so I suspect it's going to be heat that we're putting on in the back. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to turn on the IRS and turn it on to a line so that we can get our GPS location and start to program the FMC. Okay, so here we are. We need to we check that our data, the air act cycle is correct and we are still within it. So now we go in and put the position in and we are at L-O-W-I. So L-O-W and I. So here we're going to put in the temporary and then we are now located. For our route, there's the origin. Now we're going to cheat here and we're going to put in the one that we've already worked out. So we'll put that one right in there. Our flight number is Ryanair RYR 186. And now we'll activate that. We'll go to our fix and put in LJ, LJ and then we want 4 mile radius a 10 mile radius and a 30 mile radius go to the descent go to the forecast and we'll fill in flight level 200 150 and 100 1013 is the Q&H and the average wind, the wind for these altitudes is 193 at 72, 189 at 27 and 159 at 11. and execute that. We're departing from runway 8 and we are departing on the RTT3J. That's it. And put that one in. And the arrival is ILS 30 and we'll be coming in the Degu 2L that's the one okay now let's check and see how that's going to work out in the legs So we step through this and there's the interesting circle it's going to be interesting to see how this one works out
and we have a good plan. Okay. So now we'll go in and perform the initialization for the root. We have our fuel on board and we expect to have, let's see, reserves of 2,803 plus the taxi and trip is 2,128. So that's a total of 4,931 or 5 to round it out. So we'll put 5 in for the plan. Reserves are 2.8. Zero fuel weight works out, cost index 10. Our flight's altitude is 270. And the cruise wind is 239. Transition altitude is good. And one limit. 11 degrees and they do have noise abatement here too by the way now we're going to be using flaps 10 because it's not all that long of a runway and our trim is going to be 4.78 and there's our B2 is 141 so Let's get the information put in and then we are set to go. Well, according to this, we have to climb on the runway track with maximum rate of climb until intercepting OEG course inbound to RUM. And we continue on 066 and then we can change at that point. Okay. So we 9,500 and okay, so there's our basic information for our departure and 27,000 feet for the air cabin pressure. The elevation at the airport is 1,274. So we'll put one, two, put 1,300 in here because it's, well, no, it's closer to 1,250. So 1,250 will be fine in there. So initial heading is 78. So we'll put that in. And then we have 141 for Mac 2. All right, now let's check that. We have green lights on both, so we have a good plan. Now the localizer at Ljubljana is 110.5, ATIS is 128.17, and the tower frequency is 118.0. We'll be using the radio and for minimums and 50 on the radio. Well, it's starting to get dark outside, so our passengers are on, so we'll bring up the stairs and close the door. And these lights will have gone off. Good, that's clear. Now we turn on all the lights and we're going to request our departure. Innsbruck ground, Ryanair 186 with Victor. Request taxi for takeoff, straight out departure. Ryanair 186 taxi to and hold short of runway 8 via taxiway Alpha Papa Romeo Oscar November Alpha runway 26 contact tower on 120.1 when ready.
Taxiing, hold short, runway 8, via taxiway, Alpha, Papa, Romeo, Oscar, November, Alpha, runway 26, Ryanair, 186. Well, we have our clearance. Okay, if everybody's got their seats fastened and we're all set to go, we'll tell the attendants that we are ready to do a pushback and start. And we will be pushing back and going to the left in order that we can go down to the end of the runway. So, here we go. And we'll switch over to generator number two. And the air conditioning is turned off. Pushback started. And now we're going to look for twenty four on this. And when we get to that, then we will introduce the fuel flow. There we go. Now we're going to be looking for 115 volts on this and we're looking to make sure that we've got oil pressure. Oil pressure is looking good. And we can hear the engines. Good, got a good start. Now we switch to engine number one and turn on engine number one. In the meantime, we will stop the pushback, put on the brake, looking again for 24. And there's 24, good. Now we put the fuel in. Looking for the oil pressure to build up. Ah, good. We have oil pressure building up, and we can hear the second engine start. So, yes, we have a good start. Now that we have the engine started, we're going to switch to the generator coming from the engines and then we'll turn on the heating air conditioning again turn off the APU bleed and turn off the APU okay looking at our the generators are on, probe heat is on, anti-ice is correct, isolation valves auto closed, engine start levers idle detent, flight deck door is closed and locked, recall is check, flight controls check, flaps, we have green light and flaps 10, stabilizer trim is set for 4.7, good. Auto brake is set to RTO. Speed brake lever is down and detent. Ground equipment is clear. We are set to taxi. So, turn on the taxi lights. Get our position lights going. TCAS is on. We'll taxi to the end of the runway. Let's see. Okay, break off. A little bit of power to get ourselves unstuck here. Oh, man. 
mountains around here. Just look at the scenery, eh? Just look at that. We're going to be departing by flying down the valleys to get our altitude.
go to work. That's the metal marker. And we are so far on course, so we're doing well.
turn.
started our descent.
briefing is complete.
runway below us, we have to cross over it, go out there, and then come back.
airport is in sight.
this. Ryanair 186 exit runway when able. Ryanair 186 contact ground on 121.925. 121.925. view of the mountains out there. TCAS is off, clock is stopped. And okay. Cleanup is complete. And battery is off. Shutdown is complete. Welcome to Ljubljana. We made it. 
a night landing.